This is a story of jewelry as delicate as a kiss. Once upon a time, mad jewelry, the harmony as a legacy. Hello, Rinoma. Hello, Anne. How are you? Fine, and you? Why did you choose to create a jewelry brand? Because I love jewelry. I wanted to try to represent my own history through the jewelry that I do. Uh, I'm Lebanese, and now I live in France, and I used to live in Africa. I want to try to create a sort of harmony between Orient and Occident, because I believe that the world needs it now. And I want my jewelry to be inspired by the world. You gave your pieces Egyptian name. Yes, because I was always fascinated by uh, Egypt. And this is why I called the house Mat. It's the name of an Egyptian goddess. It means harmony. She's the goddess of harmony. And the scarab beetle is the symbol of my brand, of the house, because he's... Um, synonym of immortality and he brings you good luck and good energy when you wear it. You name your first collection ochre? Yes, because I think that ochre is a very hot color. It gives you this uh, aspect of orient, of yellow, of the sun, the desert, the dunes. So this is why I wanted to call it like this to let all the orient pieces that I have Uh, under one name, which is Ochre. I see three chapters in your collection now. Yes, the first chapter is the Scarab Beetle one. It's all pieces with the Scarab Beetle and uh, a lot of chains. It's very sensual, so they have Egyptian names also. And the Scarab Beetle runs all around your body. It, um, it's very sensual. It's different from the second chapter? The second chapter is inspired by the Msharabiye. It's uh, golden claustras, you can see through them. And it represents the um, look that uh, women of today have on themselves. Whether they like it or not, but they look at themselves and they look at people looking at them. So uh, this is the chapter Msharabiye. It's uh, very aesthetic, it's Persian. And it became very modern. And this is how we try to link Occident and Orient through this modernity of the Domsharabie pattern. For the third chapter, you're inspired by what? For the third chapter, I was inspired by the Eye of Horus. So it's a um, symbol of protection. It's the third eye, the one that sees the truth. It's very new. There's only one piece of it now. And it's magic because it has a secret collapse. It's secret and invisible, so that's it. From all your pieces, which one is your favorite and how do you wear it? I don't have only one favorite piece. Uh, I can say that the, the Eye of Horus is one of my favorite, but I have another one, it's the body chain. And the body chain, I find it very sensual. Uh, you can wear it like all the time, all day long, all night long. You can wear it... Uh, I do wear it to sleep and uh, I shower with it even. And sometimes you can wear it on a nice dress if you want to see it, if you want to show it. But uh, I prefer wearing it under my clothes. And can you describe this species? It has a um, scarab beetle that comes between your chest and it comes down around your waist. So it's adjustable and it's very like... Uh, on your skin. Thank you, Renoir. Thank you, Anne. To receive the latest news, do not hesitate to sign up for the newsletter on the website mat-jewelry.com This podcast was produced in partnership with Precious Room by Muriel Plaiser. You can find all the links on the podcast page and of course on Instagram dot il était une fois le bijou and dot precious room dash by Muriel Piazza. I'm Anne Desmarais de Jotan and I give jewelry a voice. I'm sending you a kiss like a jewel.